Well, I'm Steve Butler and this is Tool School. Today we're going to be talking about Clover's beading loom and accessories. Please pay special attention to our guest, Carol Porter. Clover's beading loom is well engineered and is one of the very best on the market. And there's several reasons for that. Number one, it's adjustable. So if you look at these little wing nets on this, uh, on the bracket on both sides, they can be loosened and then the brackets can be moved onto the track so that you can actually bring this down to a little over two inches worth of working space. Very nice if you're doing earrings or medallion pieces. But if you want it to its furthest most point, you'll release these and move the tracks back and it extends all the way out to over eight and a half inches, which is plenty of space to do things like bracelets, which a lot of people want to do um, bead woven bracelets. Then if you want to go even further than that and do um, hat bands or belts or split necklaces, it has a winding beam. So this beam down here winds your warp up and you can make it as long as you want. I'm going to show you a couple of features that come along with the loom. These are clamps and the way these are used, there's a lip and it fits right in this groove so your thread is going to go here and you're going to clamp your thread in by snapping that down. And the pegs are here and they have several pegs with the loom there for wrapping your continuous warp around on each side. So a single thread is going to be wrapped back and forth as you're loading up your um, groove sets here as you're working your loom. I'm just going to slide this out and turn this, the side with the serrated edge is uh, where you loosen and this is where you turn. There are two groove sets here. One is wider than the other, and the reason for that is we use 11-0 beads, and we can use both cylinder and we can use round beads. The cylinder beads are closer together because they're a little more squared off and they fit really nice together, whereas the round beads have a, more of a bump, so that it takes a wider space for them to be warped up. So you'll decide whichever uh, groove set you want for the size and style bead you have. So this time we're going to do um, a cylinder bead, so I'm bringing up this uh, groove set and then I'm going to tighten this and you'll want to do that of course on both ends. Then we're ready to go. The pegs that are in there, there's enough space on the um, on the uh, groove set here to put as many as you need depending on how many warps you're going to do so that you don't have a strain on any one particular peg. So as I'm saying this if you're working on a wide piece, you're going to distribute the weight of the single warp over three, and you'll be putting the same on the other end. All right, now key to this too, and this is another part of the brilliance of the engineering of this, if you're all warped up and you want to make sure that your warps aren't going to jump out, they have this, uh, looks like a, a paper clip that's open but it fits right into the groove set and locks your thread in. A lot of times after I'm done weaving, if I'm not finished, I like to take the tension off and when you turn this, it's, it's vulnerable to having your stitches drop out, but with this in there, they're not going to drop. Very important. All right, the other thing that you're going to get is your beading needle, which is about uh, a 10 to 13 inch length and it has a small eye so that they can get through the small beads. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that but there we have it. And also a threader. It also comes with these little guys which are your grippers that go on the bottom. So you'll just peel off the back and put these here and you'll put it on all four corners and then you won't have slipping. Another um, category that we have that is very essential to the looming process is our thread. And we've got our thread in, in neutral colors and the reason why is because it makes a difference on your beads. So if you have neutral colors, the color of the thread that you use will not affect the finished product of your beads. The thread is 100% polyester and it won't stretch and it won't break. Two features that are really key to working on a loom. We also have, I'm just going to clear the decks here, 
a nice presentation of kits that are available and they are complete. So they're going to have the cylinder beads, they're going to have the instructions, they're going to have the bead placement charts, and they're going to have the thread and the findings in there, plus the needle. So literally, if you want to have a first project, these are the best ways to get started with the program. That's been Beadloom and Beadloom Accessories. I'm Steve Butler from Mass Tool School.